So yesterday I was casually scrolling through my Instagram, then I noticed this, a new cavalry commander. And I said, why not? Let me take a look at it. Then I realized 2700 damage factor, 40% increased attack, 30% more skill damage, skill cost 150 less rage, increased defense, then more skill damage. And I was like, I have to log in. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> it's been very long since I logged in to my Rise of Kingdoms account. So there's a very high chance that we actually got zeroed. But even if that's the case, I'm okay with it because I deserved it. I don't even remember how long it's been. Let's see. Did we get zeroed? I hope not. Uh, I don't think if I can look. <sighs> oh, wait, what's that? Oh, new journey again. <laughs> oh, we didn't get zeroed. <laughs> okay, thank you, I guess. Oh, it's been so long. Wait, where is the new commander? Why I don't see the new commander? What? I think I will just log back into my 1093 farm account. Let's go down and... Where is he? Three hours later. Oh wait. Maybe they just didn't release him yet. We are just going to use screenshots then, that's okay. Now, first of all, the pronunciation. I'm gonna call him Ho Chu Bing. I don't know. Let's call him Ho Chu Bing. First skill, General of Agile Cavalry. Deals direct damage to target troop damage factor 2.7k and half of it if serving as secondary commander and reduces its march speed by 50% for 3 seconds. That's insane. I know the meta in Rise of Kingdoms, at least when I stopped playing, it was always AoE. But this guy, yes, he's dealing single target damage, but 2.7k plus 50% reduced march speed. That's amazing. Second skill, cavalry units led by this commander gain up to 40% increased attack. Increased attack is like, it's not the most desirable stat, but 40% is huge. While outside of alliance territory, their cavalry units gain 15% increased march speed and deal 5% more damage to archer units. So your cavalry, you are already fast and it helps you a lot for catching the enemies, combining your second skill and first skill because you're slowing them down. Also, you have increased march speed, but it also helps you to run away as I said, cavalry plus increased march speed is amazing. Deal 5% more damage to archer units. And that's pretty basic. Dragon of the Desert. Wait, what? Dragon of the Desert. If this commander's troop has not been garrisoned in a building for at least 30 seconds, every time their troop enters combat, it will gain the following buffs for the first 15 seconds of the battle. It deals 30% more skill damage. Active skill costs 150 less rage to use after 15 seconds, their troop will deal 10% more normal attack damage. And the reason, in my opinion, they put at least 30 seconds has not been garrisoned is so that you cannot do cheeseburger. If you don't know what that is, basically let's say this is an enemy troop. What you do is you click on attack, you attack them for a few seconds and then pull back to your city. And essentially what you're doing is you are always refreshing the health of your troops, but you are dealing a lot of damage to the enemy with your best march and every time you repeat this process you will deal more damage because they will have less hp so i think that's the reason why they put this has not been garrisoned a building for at least 30 seconds and in my opinion this is not garrison means you don't have to put them in your vault even if you just recall and they're back in your city or any other building whether it's a fortress or a flag it is considered garrisoned in my opinion so it's a broken skill but you cannot do cheeseburger battlefield appropriate I can't even pronounce it. When attacking an enemy troop, cavalry units led by this commander gain 30% increased defense. That's really good. Like having that a little bit of a tankiness. That's the main problem with XY, right? But this commander has 30% increased defense and their troops deal 20% more skill damage. Whenever their troop defeats an enemy troop, some of its slightly wounded units will be healed. More tankiness, 1.5k damage cooldown 8 seconds and does not reset after exiting combat. So essentially it looks like what you need to do on the battlefield with Ho Chu Bing is that you should constantly look for troops with minimum amount of health so that you can quote unquote defeat them and activate your amazing skills. But there is a downside. This means playing on the dot mode which is just zooming out and then everything is more smooth you don't have much delay and you can see the battlefield clearly it is not very possible i mean it is possible of course but it's not going to be very efficient because when you go into dot mode you cannot see the hp of the enemy troops around you so i think that's a big downside because if you're using this commander 
I highly suggest you just zoom in and see which troops has the lowest amount of health so you can keep switching your targets, set face them, quote unquote, defeat them and activate your buffs all over again. When attacking an enemy troop, cavalry in step by this commander, basically enhanced version of battlefield whatever that is 35 percent increased defense this time and 25 percent more skill damage and there it is whenever their troop defeats an enemy troop it gains the autumn wind effect and some of its slightly wounded units will be healed again for this time instead of 1.5 3k amazing cooldown 8 seconds does not reset after exiting combat and the autumn wind effect is that your rage bar will be reset but also your buffs, your debuffs, and the time that you spend in the combat. This means every time you defeat an enemy troop and gain the autumn wind effect, the game will register you like you just started fighting. And why this is so important is probably because of his third skill. Because it says every time their troop enters combat, it will gain the following buffs for first 15 seconds of the battle. 30% more skill damage, active skill cost 150 less rage, so resetting your rage bar does not hurt you that much and on top of that you will deal 10% more normal attack damage. Now pairings. This might sound weird but I think thanks to this guy XY might make a comeback. Let me explain. On paper I think Ho Chubing and Alexander Nevsky paired together Nevsky secondary is going to be absolutely best single target march in the game and probably the best cavalry march for now but if you go up to two cavalry marches then you will need to split HQ by the way I'm gonna call him HQ from now on HQ and Alexander Nevsky in that scenario I think you cannot pair HQ with XY because they both are extremely stronger when they are primaries so your best option is probably HQ paired with William and then your other march is going to be good old Nevsky John now a lot of people already invested John of Arc Prime. Some expertise it, some has 5155, and the lucky ones have her at 5115 for, you know, the best return of investment. And in my opinion, and according to my past Rise of Kingdoms experience, HQ paired with William plus Nevsky John is going to perform a little bit worse than HQ paired with John of Arc and XY paired with Nevsky. I might be wrong, but I think XY Nevsky HQ John of Arc is going to be best to cavalry marches. However, Ziyang Yu needs to be expertise to get the best out of him. And thus it costs a lot of sculptures. So if you still want to have two extremely strong cavalry marches with low investment, then you can definitely use Nevsky John HQ paired with William because William at 5551 is still, in my opinion, really, really good. So if you have the budget and sculptures, I think you should try HQ primary, John of Arc secondary, and then good old XY Nevsky. But if you don't, you can certainly go for HQ pair with William and Nevsky pair with John of Arc. It might seem quite obvious, but I will say it. I think these two, Ring of Doom and Horn of Fury is going to be his best accessories. And for formations and armaments, of course, if you can boost his insane 2.7k single target skill damage, he's going to serve you quite well. Now, I need to warn you guys, once this commander is released, you know, Discord, YouTube will be floated with one-on-one -on -one testings. However, please note that the real power of this commander, even though he doesn't have AoE, he has single target damage, one-on-one -on -one tests in a controlled environment is not going to show his true power. Because all you want to do with Ho Chu Bing is that staying on the battlefield and picking up low health enemies one by one. Imagine that you are playing with a ninja. You are always waiting for the perfect opportunity, enemies with low health, and boom, kill them, get the reset, and do the same thing over and over again. So in my opinion, if he does decent, just well enough, in one-on-ones, that is perfect. Because I don't believe he will shine on those one-on-one -on -one controlled environment testings. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back.